This video is gonna be a little bit different. So my sister is in town from Texas. If you know me, you know that that's where I'm from. And I am currently in Kansas. So yeah, I don't have any family out here. So whenever my family gets a chance to come out here, it is always such a blessing. Honestly, I try my absolute best to be a good host. Like I wanna take them everywhere to different restaurants, to do different things, different events. And I kind of go with the flow sometimes because I feel like we have the most fun that way. Anyway, so this time my sister, and she's texting me right here. She said, hey sister, are you good? Yes, I'm good. I'm filming because you told me, Christina, that you wanted to do a video. So we're gonna do a video today as a sister do Anyway, what this day is going to look like is first and foremost, we're about to go to the farm, farm and art market, the farmer's market. I've never gone to one or I have gone to one here in town, but I haven't worked one. And if you are familiar with my channel, you know that I have my own small business. I sell bookmarks and accessories and I do pop-up markets and I have my own Etsy shop. So yeah, go check me out if you haven't already. So this is going to be something new. For me you know like i haven't been to a market since working markets like i haven't been to a market as a customer since i have been doing my own markets so i'm really interested in seeing like what it's gonna be like as a shopper now that i have that vendor experience i'm looking forward to it i know that i'm gonna see a few vendors that i have worked with previously and some vendors who have even become friends now so i'm excited to see them at this farm and art market and honestly i'm excited to take y'all along with me i'm not sure if this is gonna stop just at the farm and art market or if i'm gonna take you along with me for more of the day kind of like a day in the life i'm honestly just gonna go with the flow so thank you so much for being here let's get into it Can you cut this? Yeah, can you cut this one? Or should I even eat it? Because it might, I might get those little thingies in my teeth. Here, you want to take? No, you won't. Not with that one. Here, I'll give you a sample. Oh, that's just been on the counter. Oh, yeah, just open. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> you being shy? <laughs> a little bit, I guess. Y'all, this is my sister, Christina. I call her Tina. T -T. This is Nora Baby's TT. Inspired by me. Chris Girl. Girl. Thank you. What type Ooh, of mango? This is given seventh grade girl. What type of mango is this? I'm not sure. But it's a really good one. And also I wanted you to try to make a mango tree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ow. So this is the mango that my sister is having me try today. We don't know the name of it. So if you know the name of this variety, just leave it in the comments so we can be educated. I consider myself a fruit connoisseur. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 You gonna let my niece try it? <laughs> gonna be like, hey, Sam! Yep. Hey, Sam! Hey, Sam! gonna love it. Yeah. Mango! We got, and we have to get the cake. It's a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, how that's what would you rate it out of ten? Out of all fruit? No, 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 no. Just like what you try and get right now. Um, like would you buy it? Um, it's good, but it's not like my type of fruit that I would okay. buy on the regular. I don't want to disrespect it with the rating. Okay, understandable. Yeah. But yeah, that mango I will say is on the sweeter side. I love it when it has a little, little tang. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I just want to pop in and let y'all meet Tina. She's gonna get a little more acquainted with the camera in a little bit, like I do. Um, peace.
<laughs> I like it. It's been fun. Um, What's your business? I sell bookmarks and accessories. Yeah. Like a farm and art market. Two for ten. Yes. So these are the type of things that my sister works at the market. I got her glasses on, obviously. <laughs> I think my favorite place is the plant bus. That was so cute, but it's so cute. There was a charcuterie board stand, and I would buy that for days. What's this? We are back from the market. How did you think it was? I thought I could have went broke. <laughs> it was so much stuff that I liked. I was overstimulated a little bit. Yeah. It was nice though. It was. It nice. was really nice. It was. It reminded me of whenever we used to go to the market um, with grandma. Yeah. Back in the day. Like, we are Griff girlies from childhood. Back like, in the gap. Even going to Trader's Village. Like, yeah. it reminded me of a gentrified version of that. Oh. <laughs> But no, it was nice. But in a, I, I, maybe I shouldn't say gentrified. Yeah, because remember they did have things that applied. Um, oh, they had the like EBT. The, the EBT, you could double your points and stuff um, with local vegetables. Was it? I thought that was nice. But my only thing was like, are they allowing or are they going out into these communities, letting people know that they have these opportunities? Because a lot of people who are lower income 
probably don't attend these events. It just doesn't appeal to that specific crowd because it does seem like whenever you go to farm and art markets or just farmers markets that it might just be more expensive because it is like a healthier food option. So yeah. it really just reminded me of, or it gave me a great, just refreshing it was feeling a of a great Argentina adventure. Yes, Argentina like, adventure. This is a throwback and we spent a lot of time. I told Nate we was gonna be on our way at 10 o'clock. It's 10.39, 10.39. Ooh, that's about to be an accident right there. You see that? All right. I feel like we could do a little unboxing, like a little haul of everything that we got today. Oh, hey. we're gonna turn this air down because I, I bet the air is probably blasting. And it's loud. I hope that wasn't too loud. Okay, we're gonna be okay. And it's gonna be a quick one, so we won't be sweating. Tina, let's go first. What did you get okay. today? <laughs> I don't remember all the business people, but I got a lot of cards. Okay. I got some Twin Rivers Rose Water Toner. Why didn't you tell me they had that? <laughs> it was it was cheap too. How um, much was it? It was a great price. It was affordable. very affordable. And mm, this was twenty five dollars, I believe. Though, oh no, this, no, no, no. This you got some 20, oil, body so oil. This is a face serum. She said she put that on her stretch marks, or like, and she broke out one day. She said that's kind of like an all purpose thing. Like it's just very good for you, and it it just has a lot of good. <laughs> You don't look like that. I wish you could have told me something. Well, How much we can go this? back. That that was twenty five dollars. This was only ten. Okay. This was only ten. The big one, probably twenty ounces. Yeah. Eighteen. This is. I feel. This and she is. makes it because she has very, very, very sensitive skin. Okay. And like she works in the garden a lot, like getting bit by different, you know, creatures, yeah. bugs. Mm -hmm. And she created that because she had a, another market event to go to. Mm -hmm. And she got in the kitchen, got to cooking it up. Mm -hmm. And she's put that on her face to like for two days mm -hmm. and everything was gone. All of her hives, like anything and everything. It is a lot of good ingredients. So a lot what of great I love ingredients. here is she has all the ingredients on. Can you see that? The packaging is really nice. You probably can't see it, but anyways, just to name a few, walnut, argon, oh. rose hip, vitamin E, um, and then some of the essential oils are rose, jasmine, turmeric. This is all good. Handcrafted from scratch in Wichita, Kansas. All natural. All, all natural. natural. And that, that is really nice. I'm glad you got that. And that's this is stuff. a shaking spray. <clears throat> I've been needing some good moisturizing. Yeah, that's good. And it also, this also says age defying facial serum. I'm about to turn 25, so. You're about to look like you're 15. <laughs> <laughs> I also got a beautiful keychain from Suncrest Fibers, Katie. And it's just so cute. It gives me, like, I used to say orange and pink were my favorite colors. And but now it's that orange my and business? green. Oh. Hmm. I was going to say, why is that my business colors when you said it's orange and green? <laughs> got me yeah i like orange and green now but yeah i feel like this speaks to me and it's cute it doesn't have where well, i work on it being yeah. a college coach sometimes you get caught up in looking like a coach all the time yeah and no, this is fun cute that is cute i love the pink Flirty. orange and white oh and i didn't show the the little baby mushrooms i love the good the touch of gold Yes, that and is, it just it goes is, really well. You know well. what that is? That's petal pink gems coated. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah that definitely is, is true. I love you got a, another bag, and yes, so I got some applesauce. Mm. My husband calling. My last thing, I got some applesauce, <laughs> two for ten dollars. Two for ten, and this is fresh. It tasted so good, I had to buy it. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of an impulse buy. But it was so tasty, I had to buy it. No sugar added. Ingredient, I love a good simple, simplistic ingredients yep. list. And guess what the ingredients are? Apples. That's all you need. That's all you, you need, need for some applesauce. It'd be a whole bunch of like gums, artificial syrups and stuff. No, thank you. And please. it lists the different types of apples, as you can oh, see good. here. Honeycrisp? No. 
I'm not sure how to say that word. Hona Gold. Okay. It just depends on Portland. how you say the J. Yeah. And Cortland and Fiji varieties. Okay. Legacy Works applesauce. And they also had pottery. Yeah, mm -hmm. they did. Black pottery. So are you done with yours? Yes. Okay. I got a lot of cards. I really loved the business um, felt. I can't remember. It was like felt oh, art. She was nice. I think I have her business card too. Yeah, yes. I got I got her card as well. Oh, good, good, good. Oh yeah. So I have some business cards and stickers. <laughs> yeah, we. I got a lot of business cards. We gotta hurry up. But just to wrap this up, Willow Ridge create happiness. I felt that. I really love that business. She just was all about just people being happy. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was really cute. I liked her. I feel like her stuff can do really well. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it for me. Okay, transition, transition, transition. Do, 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 do. All right, first things first, I guess we can start off with my coffee. I got this coffee from Pennant Coffee. It was really good. They just opened up a new shop locally. So I was excited to see them here um, because the coffee that I did have in their shop was good. So I was like, okay, might as well try. Dang, I got the same thing. So maybe I just like their caramel latte. Caramel latte is the safest choice for me whenever I'm trying coffee for the first time. Like if you mess up on a caramel latte, I probably ain't coming back. But anyways, I got this caramel latte with oat milk. My name is spelled with two N's, but it's okay. They didn't know. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> next I have this bag and it's from, I can't remember their names, but long story short, this is a program that empowers high school students and the high school students actually hand make all these ceramics. And I think it's, she said it was a nonprofit. So that's that where place, I got my yeah, applesauce from. Yeah, where you got from. your applesauce from. We'll have to tag the name. Legacy Works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wow. Legacy Works, and it said Empowering Young Minds or something like that. So a high school student probably made this, and I saw this mug, and I was like, I have to have it. It's so beautiful. It is a pink ceramic. Oh, it's looking purple. That <laughs> looks so cute. But, um, yeah, it's a it's ceramic fusion. mug. Look at the inside. It's beautiful. But then they have their little stamp on the bottom. I saw this immediately had to get it. I feel like this is a very good quality mug. And these days I have been all about quality over quantity. And I just recently broke a mug. So it was an impulse buy, but at the same time, girl math, I broke a mug. I broke a mug. So I had to get a new mug. So this is my new mug. And next, if we're just going based off of what I have here. So I got this from, I can't remember her farm name, but these are fresh flowers grown mm. at a local farm here. And um, I've actually worked closely with this woman when I worked at the floral shop, like we would get flowers from her farm and she would just come into the shop and we'll buy things from her whenever she had first started. So it was just so beautiful seeing where she is today. And it was surprising to know that she also just had a baby. Her baby is two months old oh. and she was out and about at this market. The little and baby. Yeah, whenever we came back, we saw the little baby oh. she had on like that's she was preoccupied. And I was like, girl, I get that. You don't even have to say bye to me. I just want some. So I was in cap in What is it? In captivated? Is that a word? I'm not sure what you're trying to say. I was captivated <laughs> by these flowers, <laughs> and it was so beautiful. Like what really sold me here were the snapdragons. This isn't really like a smell good bouquet. It's just more for like the looks. But I love the snapdragons, and. I can't remember the name of some of these flowers in here, but they're so beautiful and I love the pinks. And it was only $20 for a bouquet. Some people might be like $20, but no, like this is a lot for just $20. And it's fresh florals from a local farm. To me, it's so important to just support local because I am a local small business. So being able to support a local florist, I am all for that. I had to do it. And one thing about me is I'm gonna treat myself with some flowers, obviously. <laughs> Let's, I wonder That's if we can just that. sit this here so we can see him. <laughs> Listen um, for the roar of heaven. <laughs> all right, next up, I think this is my last bag. So I had to get a cookie from Kelly's Cookies. Kelly is someone that um, I met at a pop-up shop 
that I had at a local venue. And ever since then, we kind of just hit it off. She is so sweet and also a believer as well, if I'm remembering correctly, but I got her snickerdoodle cookie and um, made from scratch in the Midwest. She is the sweetest person. And I'm gonna tag her business because she needs all the support because she is so deserving. She's a hard working woman. Her cookies taste good. I tried a nice. new flavor. It was, it was brown sugar that espresso. Was that, that cookie was, was so good. Yeah. I didn't even know what to do. <laughs> it was so good. And then last but not least, I ended up getting, um, what is this called? It goes into my air vent. Hmm and I can drop little essential oils on it and it can bring out the essential oils. I didn't know I that. On. Yeah. So you know how she was jealous of my facial products? I'm jealous of that. Oh, girl, we don't have jealousy in this heart, mm -hmm. <laughs> period. Mm -hmm. But no, I love that. That was from Suncrest Fibers, Katie, who helped me out such a great deal at my last pop-up. Um, and then I have some business cards. One girl that I really liked, her name was Sloan Dyer. And she was just like a local artist. She ended up giving me this custom sticker and her business card, which Look is really cute. Look at that business card. Um, but yeah, I, I liked her, I'm gonna follow her. And I just was able to connect with a lot of different vendors here today without being a vendor. It felt good to just have just like a clear mindset going in and I was able to just float around but I have not, without having to tend to customers. Um, I was just able to be free. I love markets. Just attending markets are so fun. And I feel like whenever you work markets, sometimes it can kind of lose that value or that sense because you're like working it. So it doesn't hit the same. So today was just really refreshing and it felt like an Orientina adventure for sure. It really did. It did, it did. I was thinking about taking them along with us for the day. How you feel about that? I feel like that might Come be a on. lot. I guess we'll have to see. <laughs> I guess, honestly, we just gonna let this be what it is. I had a great time. Yeah. I think I'm gonna just enjoy you for the rest of the day. Okay. And just allow this to be just family intimate time. Might pop back in, but we'll see. I have a lot of content that I have already made, just like pre-made that I've been honestly just sitting on because the last couple markets were tough. Like I had a one that was just super windy and another one that was so slow, like crickets. Oh, it's just been a lot. So I have content that I'm sitting on, but I have so many different ideas in my head and I just need to drop it and produce. So if you end up seeing some of these videos, just know that it's gonna be from the past, but whenever I do my recap, I'm gonna just tie along the future current aspect of it and um, just get things rolling again. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see y'all next time. Bye. One more shout out. If anybody can who? Hit me up. Women's basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. You can edit that out. <laughs>